Well, the Kolkata Knight Riders seem to be a team on the rise. Punjab Kings, well, not so much. But we will talk about two spinners on Maruti Suzuki Presents ESPN Dragon for T20 Timeout that have impressed. We're seeing the very best of Sunil Narayan again, Akash Chopra and Dale Stain. And Akash, I wonder if there's something that you're noticing about Sunil Narayan, which is different from these last couple of seasons where there's been trouble on the action. He's come back with the remodeled action. He's been economical, but not penetrative. This season seems different, though. Uh, see, two things actually, Ronak. Uh, one, uh, the the initial matches were played at uh, that ranked turner in Chennai. Uh, mm-hmm. So, if you are slightly quicker in the air, uh, the ball was gripping every single time. It was tough going for uh, any batsman against quality spin. So, Sunil Loran, with all the experience, is quality. And when you come to the UAE, uh, one thing that we observed last season, uh, and, and that's the same trend is continuing, that if you have uh, speed in the air, uh, the Except Sharjah, everywhere else, the ball is actually fizzing off the surface. Uh, so, it doesn't give you that much time. If you've not uh, read it off the hand, there's very little time off the pitch where you can uh, just smash the bowler off the back foot. Uh, and therefore, the likes of uh, Rashid Khan, uh, you look at Varun Chakravarti, you look at Sunil Naran. Anybody who's actually quicker in the air uh, is not going to give a lot of runs if he's accurate and Sunil Naran is accurate. So, I don't think that he's doing something uh, different from whatever he's done in the past. Uh, uh, the action the remodeled action still doesn't allow him to be uh, to express everything that he has to be fair uh, mm. so, so within limitations uh, he's, he's found a way to be effective and that's what great players do and he's a great t20 cricketer let's be honest i mean but there are great even great players don't have to go through re re remodeled actions dale i wonder if you've seen anything different in this one i think we had uh, carlos brathwaite previously who said it looks like he's now gotten comfortable with this remodeled action i think that's is that fair yeah, I think Carlos kind of stole the words out of my mouth, out of my mm. mouth and my mind right there because I was going to say that I think when you start to change up things, um, it's difficult to first get back into the swing of things with a new modelled action. The easiest thing is to just kind of go back to what you know best. But he knows that if he does that, he's going to get into trouble and bang, he gets cut short. The other thing is the amount of cricket that he has to play. So when he went through that remodelling phase, the, he was missing a lot of cricket. There was a lot of things that I didn't see him appear in. You know, he was uh, there was certain games that even KKR themselves kept him out of because they if memory serves me right they were kind of scared that he might get called and he can't play in a semi-final or something like that uh, and there were mm. other leagues that he didn't play for West Indies but now you see he's playing a lot more cricket he's playing continuously more cricket he's played the CPL played in the first leg of the IPL so he's playing 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 and he's becoming so used to that new remodeled action and with that brings confidence and he's yeah. just a superb bowler you know he's just he's wonderful you know and and the more that he plays we'll see him have better performances when he wasn't playing as much then you start to kind of question where is he and what's happening yeah well he i think he did turn around a game on his own against punjab kings last season in the ua so this is a fixture he'd look forward to let's talk about ravi bishnoi as well and he didn't start for the Punjab Kings this season, Akash. I was surprised when I saw Adil Rashid as an overseas replacement who's outranking Murgan Ashwin and Ravi Bishnoi. Bishnoi seems to have been fired up as a result of that call. He seems to be bowling better than he has now. Well, I and mean, you wondered why at that point in time that uh, uh, Punjab chose two OOC spinners when you've got somebody, somebody like Bishnoi and uh, Murgan Ashwin uh, warming the bench. Uh, but then that's Punjab for you. They do things out of the box, uh, uh, defies logic sometimes. Uh, Ravi Bishnoi has always bowled well, uh, right from the last season, the first game that he played last season till the last game that he's played in this season. Uh, I haven't seen him struggling. Uh, he's got a great temperament. Uh, he's he's very accurate for a leg spinner. And and he's, he never gets overawed by the occasion. He could be bowling to uh, A.B. de Villiers, Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma, Andre Russell. He's there. He's there. He's uh, uh, putting the next ball there even after getting uh, a hit for a six or a four. Uh, so, there's plenty to like about Ravi Bishnoi. Quick in the air, uh, doesn't allow you that kind of, uh, uh, say, flight where you can dance down the pitch and smash him uh, out of the park. And what is just coming to his aid is the fact that people don't read leg spin from the hand anymore. Uh, and the last dismissal, uh, the last uh, Mr. Surya Kumar Yadav uh, uh, just comes to your mind straight away. It was a googly. Uh, his googly turns a lot more than his leg spin. Uh, flatter in the air, finishing within the stumps. And... Uh, uh, a, a little mini car could have gone through the uh, the gap between the bat and the pad because he just he just played through the line. Uh, he he was not reading the hand. So if you stop reading the hand of a leg spinner, uh, you have very little chance of co- conquering him, countering him. And uh, Ravi Bishnoi is showing that if you keep putting the ball in the right place uh, uh, consistently enough, you will have success if you are a leg spinner. 
the numbers tell quite the story, Dale, as we've discussed what's wrong with Yuzvendra Chahel in the first half of the IPL this year and suddenly last two games have changed that. But the numbers tell quite a story. Bishnoi seems to bowl better against left-handers than even Yuzvendra Chahel and Rahul Chahar. There tends to be that notion, don't bowl your leggies to your left-handers. But if you just go by pure numbers, I know it's only a difference of one wicket. There's a lot of innings that uh, Bishnoi has caught up with. He seems to be the most effective Indian leggy. Just he's amazing, actually, and and um, like Akash said, he's he's really quick through the air. So a lot of players are forced to kind of play him from the crease. They don't want to run down the track to him because he's kind of like a Rashid Khan in a way. You don't see many guys run at Rashid because one, they 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 don't have the time. He bowls very quickly, and two, they don't know what he's going to bowl. Is he going to bowl that googly that spins big time, or is he going to like beat you on the outside with it with a leggy? And Ravi Bishnoi kind of fits right into that. Rashid Khan kind of mould. Um, obviously, I think he watches uh, he watches Ra- Ra- um, Rashid Khan very closely, and he does very similar things. And I know when we played him in in Dubai in the IPL last year, he was incredibly tough to 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 um, play against. And even the guys like Ab and um, Virat walked into the dressing room and said, "Boys, just be careful if you if you walk down the wicket to him, um, mm. you're going to put yourself in danger. You're going to have to play him from the crease. And when you play." Good spin bowlers from the crease, that's when you get out. You leave that big gap between bat and pad, you get bowled. Um, you can kind of like try and force the issue to create uh, p- pace and power onto the ball and you can get out like that. So he's he's worked out a way of taking wickets and he's doing a wonderful job doing it. Yeah, three for in that game against RCB. It set off his IPL in 2020 and thankfully he's back in the Punjab 11. God knows why he didn't start. But anyway, thank you. That was fascinating. Akash Chopra and Dale Stain. Let's see which one of these two spinners have a better day when Kolkata and Punjab clash. Maybe they both will when these two teams meet in Dubai in match 45. This was Maruti Suzuki Presents. ESPN Trick and Foot T20 Timeout. We call it people technology. 